This is the Ormond Langer Field, located off the coast of Norway. The discovery dates back to 1997 and first gas was achieved in 2007. The gas reservoir in 900 meter water depth was developed as a subsea tieback to the Nihamna onshore facilities 120 kilometers away. For this mature asset, Shell needed an efficient, low carbon solution to unlock the remaining gas. One subsea and Shell have worked um, together over many, many years. And I think it's, it's that history which we've had together, how we've, how we've solved um, some very difficult projects. When we came to decide which um, main contractor we were gonna go with, it was um, in the end a, um, you know, a, 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 an easy decision. So by installing the subsea compression system uh, at the sea bottom, we are able to extend the lifetime of the wells and also get up a lot more of the gas. Looking down to the city, um, you see it's quite a distance. And all that distance, plus 300 meters, that's how far we need to push up the gas and the liquid uh, from the Omenlange field, up Storega, all the way. The solution to the problem is to deploy a subsea compression system, which will enable the wells to produce at higher levels and sustain production for a longer period of time thereby maximizing recovery from the Ormelange field. Subsea compression for a deep water gas field is the most efficient solution to boost production. The Ormelange field consists of four templates producing through a dual flow line to shore with a new manifold commingling the flow, distributing it to the compression stations and sending it back to the flow lines. The electricity required to power the compressor is transported via the umbilical to the compression stations and then to the compressors. In the case of Ormond Langa, the electricity used to power the system is coming from the Norwegian grid, which is produced from renewable sources of energy. The combination of low carbon electricity with efficient boosting methods enables significant reduction in emission per gas produced. Once Subsea are delivering the power control module, this will include the variable speed drives. And these are controlling the Subsea compressors by controlling the speed and the voltage. So from shore, you have two umbilicals. They are, are sending the, the power to Subsea. Uh, and uh, effectively, that's all you need. And everything is being controlled from, from onshore. What makes these compressors unique is the, it's a multi-phase compressors meaning it's uh, able to handle the unseparated well stream, which means that we can take the unprocessed gas stream directly from the wells and into the machine. This is one of the impellers for the compressors. We normally say that the compressor is the heart of the system. In the compressor, the energy from the power system is transferred into rotation and movement. And uh, being a counter-rotating compressor makes it uh, highly efficient. What we have achieved so far this year demonstrates that nothing is impossible when we work together as a team towards a common goal. The deployment of the multi-phase compression system on Orman Langer will be an industry first, the first subsea to shore compression solution, enabling world-class recovery performance, as well as significant reduction of power consumption and associated emissions.